Skulk and Derby started working on basically a smart house access control system with a GSM shield. It turned out it might actually work better if we can, and a bit cheaper perhaps, if we can make it smart, smart browser or smartphone browser based. The idea also was basically conceived about two weeks ago at a GTAC meeting when Skulk and HC and myself sat together and quickly discussed the initial idea. Skulk proposed maybe using rolling codes. HC proposed that I would rather perhaps maybe try and do it with web to pi and it seems to have worked out really well. Here you can see some of the basic building blocks. Here we've got a smartphone with the Enter House for a Hack application running, which is a jQuery mobile app running in the Google application engine, that's Google Cloud, based on web to pi um, framework that I've written it. If you touch the gate, option it loads gate access and here you can select some LED sequences as you see outside the gate to give you a physical aspect of being at the gate at least you choose the correct sequence there that was generated by the Arduino and you click on the gate itself so to give you a basic idea of how it works we've got a, a smartphone here where there's a jQuery mobile website hosted in the Google application engine cloud. Um, it runs basically on a Web2Pi web framework. Um, the Web2Pi framework has got one application installed at the moment called Enter H4H. The Enter H4H app application itself authenticates with single sign-on against janrain.com to log in so let's take for instance Gmail. I would then supply my Gmail authentications. Once signed on, Janrain will check that I've signed on successfully and pass back a special, let's call it hash, to the web to pi application here. Um, and in the authentication part, it will then say, I have authenticated myself um, valid against, for instance, Gmail, will allow me access to the rest of the application. There is going to be, well there is, as you can see, a gate access application. If I go into that, I can then select certain LED sequence here, touch the gate with my finger if it's a touch screen phone, and it would then access a URL, but also in the process generate the next rolling code, send that together with the HTTP request through to the house rack ADSL modem, which has got port forwarding on, got to go through there, all the way to the Arduino Uno that's got an Ethernet shield on it uh, running a web server that's going to service that actual HTTP request with the rolling code analyze it, compare it against the next rolling code sequence as determined by the Arduino Uno and if that is OK it would hit the, hit the pin uh, on a high for a few hundred milliseconds which then basically kicks off the relay which would access the gate by actually opening it. So that's how a flow diagram would look like for the current Enter H4H smart house access control. So after quite a few late nights in the past two weeks I was ready to basically put together our first working demo at House for Ack. Um, last night we had a to get uh, get together Tuesday evening and um, together with Skulk and Andrew um, we got it to work quite successfully as you can see in the next clip this is the byproduct of the past basically two and a half weeks worth of work it is still in its prototyping stage um, there's a lot of good ideas I think that can still come from fellow house for hackers that's a very nice Here we've got the shack with the gate access running in the cloud, rolling codes generating HTTP requests through to the Arduino, connected to the gate remote, and all the guilty parties <laughs> involved. I've got some tools. <laughs> tools. <laughs> House for Ack, and this opens the gate that's out there. 
Yes, it is dark. Yes, the gate is out there. Hackers, nerds and geeks like to work very late as well.